Hey guys, how's it going? This is Salman Francis and you are watching server edition of LZH project and in today's video we are going to cover FTP server. Uh, FTP stands for file transfer protocol. Uh, the port on which it operates is port 21 and TCP and it's used to basically uh, to download and upload uh, files from your computer and from server. So how it's configured I'll show you in a moment. So let's start. The daemon or the server which we are going to use is VSFTPD or Very Secure File Transfer Protocol and we can download it in uh, our server with the yum command. Okay first of all uh, let me show you the IP address IP ADDR show will reveal that it's 192.168.1.4 okay so let's jump okay first let's clear the screen vsftpd so let's wait Okay, so the server has been installed and its configuration file are in etc. So let's go to etc vsftpd, press enter and here you will see vstpd.conf. This is the main configuration file. Uh, user underscore list is the file which is, um, uh, let me show you. This is the file. Uh, in which these users basically they are denied by default uh, so you cannot log in with root bin daemon and ADM like users like these uh, so how we can how do we know that it's denied by default um, you can read it if user list denies equals to no basically it's no in if it's no in etc VST, uh, vsftpd.conf then only allow users in this file but basically it's uh, by default it's uh, it's yes so let's go to vsftpd.conf vsftpd.conf okay it has a number of uh, things uh, first of all is anonymous underscore enable is equal to yes that means that anyone without a username like any anonymous person can log into our server uh, this is uh, what we need to disable uh, then it says SC Linux is enforcing check right enable is equal to yes okay let's edit this file vi vsftpd.conf okay I'm just going to make this video in a quick fashion so no we don't want anonymous user okay anonymous upload is already disabled these hash you already know that this means that this is disabled mm. okay next okay here is the banner you can change the banner let's say don't kill my server or anything you like okay So that's pretty much it. Uh, over here you can see this. User list underscore enable is equals to yes. This is by default and it should not be turned on. I uh, like turn to no. Because if you, let's say if you change it to no, what will happen, uh, the file we just saw earlier, it's going to allow those users and we don't want that. So just make sure it's, uh, 
it's set to yes okay that's it write and quit and what we can do is let me create a user let's see if I have a user okay I have a user it pings and let me change the password for it pings okay so that's it uh, let's go to it pings home directory and we don't have anything over here let's create a directory work related in work related I'm going to just touch file very and let's fill this file with some content okay now we are going to start the server system ctl restart vsftpd okay good status will reveal that it's working so let's go to our client machine and try to access FTP okay so I'm in my slack box and let's try to access FTP 192.168.1.4 press enter oh we need to enable in firewall just a minute so firewall dash cmd dash dash cat dash port is equals to 21 slash tcp okay it's not running so let's start firewall d and port 21, uh, 20 years also okay now let's go to our client machine let's make sure that it's it can ping okay good okay good it's working so with anonymous user it's not going to log uh, login let's try that uh, login using username is anonymous and password hidden hidden uh, server replied login incorrect retry of course it's not going to let us in so let's try with that user we created it pings let me uncheck this it will directly take me to this user's home directory actually okay it's working let's let wait
okay guys our firewall is basically basically blocking it so I have just stopped firewall for the moment just to troubleshoot and you can see if we go to 192.168.1.4 RFTP server without firewall and give it username and password and you can see that we can easily access this information also uh, the same way you can just uh, browse or use FTP server from command line uh, it will work uh, with firewall it's working right now but I, I will show you how we can manage it with uh, firewall enabled as well so just bear with me uh, so let's FTP 192.168.1.4 and it pings is the username password the well, FTP will send data in clear text so it's uh, not wise to use it okay over here we have this CD into work underscore related we can go sorry okay and to download data from here we g use get command for example get and the file name and it's successful let me exit and ls we, and you can see that we have it a very important .txt okay let's create one file and let's clear the screen first touch uh, from my PC .txt okay now let's go to FTP same username password okay now I will go to this work underscore related over here uh, I don't have this file at the moment from my PC and to upload a file uh, we use put and from my pc.txt okay it's successful ls will show that now this file is available okay I'm going to pause the video right now I need to check why this is not working with firewall it should work actually uh, let's go to our server first and okay and I'm not going to start this firewall okay and now let's try to FTP okay guys I think I have found the problem actually you can see right now firewall dash cmd dash list dash all it's working right now and what I needed to do was to add this FTP as a service also in firewall firewall dash cmd dash dash add dash service is equals to FTP permanent and now let's um, try to use our slack box from browser and there we have it it's everything is available for this user you cannot go into other directories let's try to go in boot how oh, that's wonderful that's crazy I think well all it has all access and that's that's crazy let me try to secure this Okay, let's try to restart the service. It 
sometimes it happens. And I don't know why. But that's how we solve the problems. Okay, it's working. Let's go to Slackbox again. Let me clear this. Uh, okay, settings, configure, history, clear. Okay, let's close this. Okay, and now FTP one nine two one six eight dot one dot four. It pings. Okay. Yeah, now it's working. Fine. So now I don't have any access. So what if we try to create a folder from our browser? Um, from browser. Thanks God. So now everything is working. It was quite a mess. Uh, but now we have solved it. Uh, I'm not going to edit this video uh, so that you guys can understand uh, how we solve this, these issues with FTP. And thank you for watching. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and spread the word to, the, to your friends and family. Goodbye.